Hello everyone, welcome to today's workout. I've got for you a short little low impact hit cardio circuit. No repeats, we love that. So it's just 10 exercises. We're gonna do each for 45 seconds of work. We're gonna rest for 15 seconds. We're gonna jump on through to the next one. It's gonna keep that heart rate up, but this is perfect for those of you that don't wanna jump. Wanna keep a little bit more love on those knees of yours, or you've got neighbors downstairs. If you're in an apartment, if you're working out when everyone else is asleep, totally, I got you covered with this workout right here. So save it, like it, subscribe send to friends, keep it for later when you need it, and let's get into it. Make sure that you're already warmed up today. I'm not gonna do a warm up because I wanna keep this one really short and sweet. So, getting into it, let's go. We are starting with inchworms into toe taps. So starting at one end of your mat, you're gonna hinge at your hips, keeping those legs pretty straight, a little bit of bend is fine. Walking out on the palms of your hands, you're gonna pike toe tap, pike toe tap, Walk it back in. We're gonna go for speed here. We're jumping in together in eight seconds. Let's get ready to go. I'm pumped, you're here with me, getting in this cardio workout. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's do it. So we'll walk it out, walk it out, walk it back. <laughs> Tap those toes, good. Trying to get those hips nice and low. So we're standing up every time. Good, toe tap and toe tap. You should feel those abs drawing in nice and tight every time that you pike it up. Good, everyone. You can see I'm already trying to go for speed, all right? Yeah, that's right, baby. So no jumps, but we can amp it up in other ways. We've got 15 seconds left. Whew. Nice, guys, keep going. You got this. We're gonna rest for 15 seconds after this, or you are while I talk. You got five, four, three, two, one. All right, going into knee drive and speed squat. So two knee drives, one direction, two speed squats, two knee drives the other direction. It looks like this. Knee drive, knee drive, speed squat, speed squat. Knee drive, knee drive, speed squat, speed squat. Speed squat's hard to say fast, but we got this. <laughs> Let's go together in five seconds. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do it, friends. Here we go. Knee drive, knee drive, speed squat, speed squat. Good. So you see I'm using my arms here to pull the knee in. And I'm using my core as well. Staying nice and tall in those speed squats. Good, you guys. Nice. I'm even thinking about driving through my heels here, squeezing my glutes at the top. Good. Whew. Halfway there, halfway there. Nice, y'all. Good, you can hear me breathing too. Exhale. Nice. You've got 10 seconds left. Let's pump it up. Three, two, one. Nice job, everyone. If you need a sip of water, don't hesitate, okay? We're going into push up, toe shuffle side to side. So essentially in the push-up, we're gonna go out, out. For my dancers, ball change, ball change. You know, okay. We're going into, if you can, a full push-up. If you cannot yet, you can work your way up. Either be on your knees or a good way to progress in your push-up is to lower down, then put your knees down, then push up. Then we're gonna go ball change, ball change, back to the push-up. We go together in four seconds, y'all. Three, two, one, let's do it. So we got push up, ball change, ball change. Good, push up. Whew. Nice, everyone. Keeping those hips low, yeah? I have a long line from my head to my heels here. Again, if you need to, you take the modification, you put those knees down. This one really helps you to work on finding that eccentric versus concentric power in your push up. We only have 15 seconds left, good. Or if, like you just saw me do, if you need to put those knees down right away, you can do that. Keep those hips towards the floor. 10 seconds left. Yes, guys, last push up here. Whew. Nice, three, two, one. Whew, yeah, check it out, check it out. Okay, that was exercise three. We got seven more to go. So side kick 
two back lunge. A little kickboxing vibe for you today. So we're gonna take one side kick, touch, back lunge, switch the other side. Side kick, touch, back to the other. Finding those 90 degree angles in both knees on that back lunge. We go together in three, two, one. Here we go, so we're kicking back. Quick touch there, yeah? We want a quick transition. Now, if that's not intense enough for you, option to jump lunge, yeah? Good, you guys. Also option, kick. I mean, jump on the kick, yeah? So you can jump on the kick, then jump lunge. So you've got options here, yeah? Finding your level of challenging, yeah? So good, you guys. Reminder, we're keeping front knee, tracking over front toes. Back knee, under back hip. There we go. 10 seconds left, y'all. Now's the time to go for it if you want to. Yes. Last three, two, one. Got to finish it out, make sure I'm even. You guys, that was four. We got six more. Six more, that's it, almost halfway. We're going into Russian twists with punches. You grab that water when you need it. Okay, if you would like, you may use light weights here. I'm gonna go for it with my little threes, but facing you, I'm facing the side. So, so keep your feet down as you back a little bit here. We're gonna punch up high and then low. So punch, two, three, four, punch low, two, three, four, punch high, two, three, four, punch low. Now you can totally do that without the weights. You can totally keep your feet down. You could go up. Choose your own adventure. We go together in five seconds. Two and one, okay. This is my adventure for the day. Low, 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 low. We go punch, two, three, four, we go low. Yes, friends. I'm squeezing my knees together here to keep myself nice and stable, yeah? That really helps my core stay tight as well. Thinking about digging my heels into the ground, squeezing my knees together. Good, I feel this working my obliques here, especially on those low places. Yes, now if you need to drop down, you just drop down, totally fine. Let those weights go. I want you to keep moving, yeah? As long as we do not stop, we are making progress here, friends. We've got 10 seconds left. Maybe you yourself these last few seconds. Take those feet off. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, yeah, spicy, spicy little ab moment there. We're going into exercise number five, which is single leg hip thrusters, four on each side. So, ooh, this one's good. We are finding like a little crab walk bridge position here. One leg, we get hip thrusters. So we're going lift, lift. You should be squeezing through that glute. If you want to make it more challenging, you do like I was doing, lift your heel up, but that's not necessary, okay? If you want, you can keep the feet down, dig that heel into the floor, okay? We go together in three, two, one. Starting on one leg, whichever leg is you, is the one you want, we do four on that side, then we switch. Four, three, two, one, good. Reminder, if you want more calf, you raise the heel. If you want more glute and hamstring here, you dig the heel down. Good, keep those shoulders away from the ears. Yes, fighting for that high range in the hips. We are not quitters here. Yes, maybe you're feeling this in your triceps, that's good. That's good, keep pressing your hands into the ground. 10 seconds left, guys. Finish it out even. Yes, so good. Feeling that burn in the glutes for four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Give a little shake, give a little love to those wrists, yeah. Okay, going to bear crawl, two, step out and in. So I'm gonna start at one end of my mat here, finding my bear crawl position. Quickly, I'm turning to the side to show you my bear crawl. It is on all fours, I tuck the toes, Hover my knees, that is it. This is my bear crawl position. Trying to keep a long line from the crown of the head through my tailbone. Keeping those knees coming towards the floor, not this. Not a cute bear, cute bear. Okay, let's all be cute bears today. 
we go walking to side, out, out, in, in. Watch me if you need more clarification, but we're jumping in to keep these heart rates high. In three, two, one. So we go out, in, out, in. Then we go forward, forward as my feet go back, and then everything comes in. Back to the bear crawl. Keep going. Yeah, working these cores. Make sure you alternate which side you're starting. That out, out, in, in. So on this side, I'm going right, left, right, left. On the next side, I'm gonna go left first. Keeping those hips low, knee low, guys. Good, catch yourself, keep yourself accountable. I am here with you, and I'm not gonna let you slip up on yourself as much as I possibly can. But when it comes down to it, it is your mind over your muscle, okay? Here we go, 14 seconds, yes we can. I'm saying it to myself just as much as I am to you guys. I feel this too, yes, but I'm with you. We're getting stronger together. Last three, two, one. Ooh, yes, good. Just tossing the leaves, just a little casual leaf toss. Okay, so <laughs> bear crawls, check them off. We're going to lunge forward to knee twist drive. Looks like this. So we're lunging forward keeping hands behind our head, prisoner style. Lunge forward, 90 degree angles, bringing this front knee up to meet my elbow as I twist. <sighs> yeah, coming back, opposite. <sighs> Hear me breathing, Hear me exhaling on that difficult moment. Join me in three, two, one. Okay, so we go forward, drive, come together. Forward, drive, come together. Yes, using that core. If this is not hard enough for you, you can add a little jump here, yeah? On this jump lunge. Uh-huh, nice everyone. So you have the option here to come back down to the lunge and step back in, or speeding it up, you're gonna go knee together. Front, knee together, yeah? Either way, you should be feeling it in those abs. The obliques. Nice, Whew. halfway there friends. Keeping that nice tall spine. Elbows try and stay wide. I know it's tempting to bring them in here. Keep them wide. Shine that beautiful chest forward. That beautiful soul of yours, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Always gotta be even. Yes guys, okay. We got two more, that's it. Grabbing a quick step. Maybe you need one too, let's go. Okay, tricep dip to toe taps. I love this one. This one's feisty on those triceps. It's a little deceiving. We have two tricep dips, two toe taps. So we're not traveling like I've done before. We're staying in place, just doing the dip. So we're keeping those elbows aiming towards the back, yeah? Bend, bend. Toe tap, toe tap, toe tap, toe tap. That's really hard, those double ones on the toe taps. But you know what? I know you got this. We go together in three, two, one. Here we go. Bend, bend, tap, 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 tap. Yes, guys. So much extra little core work here in the midst of this low impact cardio. A little bonus for you, yes. That's the nice thing about low impact cardio. A lot of the times it really is involving that core working more than we realize. <sighs> Good. Reminder, keep those hips nice and high here. On those dips, we bend just the elbows. The hips do not drop, just the elbows bend on the dips. Oh, hello triceps, good. We got five seconds left, guys. Four, three, two, one. Y'all, we have made it too. Our last exercise. We have commando double knee Spider-Mans. So if you know me, you know I love these. I love a commando and I love the Spider-Mans. So we're doubling up on the knee drives in the Spider-Mans to really work those obliques. Okay, so we're starting in a plank, forearm plank, okay? From here, we have commando up. Right arm, left arm, or whatever you want to start with. We go double knee one side, double knee other side, little Spider-Man. 
we plank down, commando down. We double knee, crunch, and then the other side, you know we're going in just three seconds. This is it, you guys, last 45 seconds of work. I know you've got it in you, let's do it. So here we are on our plank, commando up. Two knees, two knees, keep the hips low, going down to the commando, and then two knees again. Yes, driving through those heels, energy through the back. Come on, we got this, guys. Yes, do not forget to breathe. All right, maybe you speed it up. Maybe you've got a little more fire in you here. The last 20 seconds of work. We are not quitters. And by not giving up, we are getting stronger mentally and physically. Come on, you guys, 10 seconds left. I know we can. You decide how you finish this. Feeling proud, feeling like you gave it every ounce you had. Last three, two, one. Whew. You guys, that was amazing. Really awesome, low impact cardio. Doesn't have to be jumping. Doesn't always have to be so intense in the jumping to be intense in the feeling, right? Like, whew. Tell me if you're feeling this too, because I feel good. I feel really good. My heart rate, she's super high right now. And we hardly did any jumping or didn't do any jumping at all. Only used kind of lightweight. So know that you can take this with you wherever, you know? You can take it with you in your apartment. You can take it with you to the beach, to the park, on vacation, in the hotel, in the airport, wherever. I don't care, you take me there, we're gonna do it. And that's it. And this was about 15 minutes and that's it. Yeah, check her off. <sighs> Quick little cool down for you right now just to get that breath nice and calm and slow again. Give me a big inhale up. <sighs> Exhale, let it go. Good, keep following along here while I talk some more. So I want you to remember this is a really great way, this little hit moment that we just did to add on to a lifting session or to add on to an upper body strength session or any of those other videos that I've posted that maybe are more strength oriented and you want a little bit more cardio, stay down, bend the knees, stretch the knees. This is a really great way to just continue that fire in you, yeah? And if you are feeling motivated and if you feel like you have more gas in the tank, A, roll it up nice and slow. Maybe that means you can go harder in this moment, in these sessions, or it definitely means you're getting stronger. So that means you can probably combine a couple of things together, yeah? But thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. That was awesome. Save, like, share, subscribe, all those things. And I will see you in the next one.